All right, feeling rock steady tonight. Back in the berg, the iceberg. Welcome to the iceberg in my little ice bungalow in my ice boulevard in the ice municipality of Iceboro. Icing it up. Ice. Ice. It's so hard not to use ice puns. The problem is, is that there's so many of them that everyone's already used that it's just not as fun as it used to be. It's as if these puns are frozen in time. Ooh, there we go. Oh, wait, what do we mean, there we go? I died. <laughs> there we go, another successful death. Courtesy of the Mario Brother. What was Luigi during this time? Getting it on with Daisy? Until Mario's like, yeah, I'll rescue that babe since you cannot. This is why we sent you to the mansion. This is why you have a complex due to your kidnapping as a child. Seriously, I am I'm going with the theory that Luigi's kidnapping as a baby is the reason why he has anxiety issues. Especially when it comes to ghosts. Who knows how many ghosts were in Yoshi's Isle that fucked him up. You never know. But Luigi is green, so maybe if he just became a Green Lantern, this wouldn't be a problem for him. You know? Unless he wants to be a Yellow Lantern. Not Wario, though. Wario has to be the orange one, assuming he can get it. Because it's usually one person at a time, because they're so green, it's like, Nah, I take all the rings, haha. <laughs> the Ring of Everest. Give it to me. Don't disappear on me. Alright, step one. Pull the lever. Pull the lever, Krunk! Hmm. Like, you could call us a puzzle platformer, but it's like, I I'm not really feeling the puzzle part of it. Which is why I've allowed this to go through my playthrough stuff. For like Mario vs. Donkey Kong for Game Boy. Yeah, that's a lot like this one, but the sequel to that one, which is for DS, is more like Lemmings, which would mean I wouldn't be playing it, because it's DS and it's like Lemmings, so, yeah. Unfortunately, it, be it became like a Lemmings light sort of situation with the touchscreen. It's like, this is, this is Donkey Kong Legacy, becoming a Lemmings game. No... Oh, interesting. We've made no attempt to hide anything. We just left it right there at the exit. Alright. If you insist. But I must protest. I am a silly man. <sighs> Depression. It sounds like this. When you can't get up in the morning and you feel cold inside. Depression. When you feel cold inside and there's depression. Depression. Alright, let's just jump quickly. Let's jump aggressively. Hmm. Okay. I suppose I can live through that experience. Actually, yeah, why is there no lantern ring that deals with depression anyway? I just realized that now. Like, there's no... There's no sadness lantern ring. I, I think that needs to be fixed somehow. Maybe the blue ring involve sadness in conjunction with hope, but really, though, there, there's no sadness ring? Come on, guys. Can't believe there's no sadness ring. You even have the gall to have, like, ultraviolet rings, but no. Alright. One of the tougher levels in the entire game. And not helped by this fucker going way too fast for me to deal with him. Which means grabbing the key here is pointless, but also it's hard for me to get back up now, so I'm just not even going to go down there until I have that door open. But yeah, not only is this door hidden, but I need to build both a floor and a ladder to even get to it. Simply amazing. Plus we have springboard and the black box. We have every placeable item in play. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. 
this is the kind of shit I want to see when I'm playing ROM hacks. It's like, alright, prepare to be befuddled and bemused. Be prepared, is what I'm saying. What is this plan? I'm just gonna have to let him out so he just covers the walls with his greasy feet. You heard me, I say! That's not going to... I'm not gonna survive that, sorry. Oh, the stinky Mario. He's burnt to a crisp. He's become a fried nugget. Nougis. Everyone likes the nougis. I like the nuggets. The nuggets of chicken tasting gold. Try to sell a chicken nugget for 5,000 Pokemon game and be like, Hey! Where'd you ever get the chicken from anyway? All animals are Pokemon. And then you find out that adults are like, Yeah, we gotta eat Pokemon in order to fucking survive, since that's what our ecosystem is made of. Yes, our ecosystem is made of Pokemon that represent literal garbage bags and toxic sludges. That's just part of the environment. It's all natural toxic shit. And Voltorb's entirely natural. I swear. What, magnets? Those are natural? Yeah. Natural magnets totally not made by person. Mm-hmm. Nope. They were made by God, who is also a Pokemon. And you're thinking, oh, did God make himself as a Pokemon? I don't, I don't know, man. Uh, well, I don't know. No. no it's, that could have worked, but I got knocked aside. It would have been an interesting way for that to have been finished, but no. Let's build it in a normal sense. Okay. Uh, I'm going to need the springboard, though. Although, we're quickly going to find out what's actually going to go wrong. That's right, I should have put the ladder directly outside the way of here, because now I can't jump on the key! Very smart. I am smart. Oh, we can just get him to walk around the springboard. I, I wasn't even sure he could even do that. Alright. Like, I didn't know the springboard had sides for you to use. Okay, let's try it again. Give myself space to actually jump on the key this time. Use the springboard to get the key even up there in the first place. Since I only got one flat line to use. There we go. We got a different pro- wait, no. No. Yes! I'm in. Hacker. Hack the planet. Oh boy. I'd like to see a slot machine that activates when you put someone's personal belongings in there. Like it's the devil's slot machine. It's like, alright, you spend your soul to use the slot machine. Okay. Somewhere on top of the iceberg, a Donkey Kong is here. And he has barrels. Alright. Will the barrels drop mushrooms, though? That is the question. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with a no, but we're gonna do it anyway. Yeah, no mushrooms here. Some slippery jank. Some cyan... Cyan barrels, for a change. Right? Wait, what? Okay, fine. I don't really have to wear these icicles at all, but I guess they make for a nice change of scenery. Mm -hmm. What pattern do I not know about? Okay, bye. Wow. Alright, Donkey Kong, where can you possibly go fucking now? Come on. End this charade. Somewhere. I think we finally found his hideout, but we have to go through the environment that supports it in order to get there. Alright. Okay. Putting all that stuff together. Making it all mine. Bring of avarice. It's what we wanted. Have you thought about saving your game today? No. Hmm. Check out that hot beatboxing team. That's good. So, next time it's the Rocky Valley, and this is the largest world in the game. There's 
16 levels in total here, so we're going to be here for a little bit. <laughs> Hope you don't mind. There's a lot to do, but we're towards the end, so it's okay to have like what I call a penultimate world like this one. I tend to like it for that reason. Also notice that like this is probably the only time I see a level on the level map that's directly adjacent to another level diagonally. So that's interesting, maybe, on an aesthetic level.